Hey everyone, this is Max. Welcome to another workflows video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the true false card. Now, previously, I showed you how to use a number card, the text card. And so today, let's open this flow. Uh, again, how to use the true false card. So I've got a number of um, cards and, and actions here, but you can always click the plus sign and then, and then you can here we go, true, false. And you can see all the all the sort of actions or, or functions that are uh, available and to you. Uh, but let's see what I have what I have here. Um, so the first one is a compare. So this one compares two numbers. Um, so I have 100 uh, is greater than and then the number. Notice that there are a lot of different um, options that you can you can choose from. I use the greater than. Also, with the true false card, they're, most of them are very easy to test. Uh, if you click test this card, and then we can click test, then this is true. 100 is more than greater than 50. If we change this to 500, then this becomes false, right? Um, now, the next card is also a uh, true false compare, but notice now here is a string. Um, now, if we go back, this is a number, a number here, and then this is a string, and this is a string. So just be careful. <clears throat> you want to make sure you're, you know, comparing the same uh, same values. Now, notice this is a hello. This is capitalized H, and this is um, lowercase. If I test, I should get a false. All right, it's false. Now, if I change this to, and this becomes true. Right now, next one is um, it says all false, so it will tell you if uh, if all the inputs are false, then it will become true. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm taking the value and passing it from the previous uh, compare, and then this one uh, here as well. Okay, so again we can test this. So all false, false, false. So this will be true, and if I change this to true, then this will become false. All right, um, so this is all false. Now this is any false. Um, so as long as one of the inputs is false, this will return uh, true. Uh, we can test this, so false, false, false. Um, and then, um, so, and then we get a true here. All right, so if, again, if, if any uh, of them, we can, if we, even if we change this to true, and this one to true, this will still should be true um all right i know it could be a bit confusing but uh, again i think the the testing really helps um so this one is an expression um so this allows you to write any expression uh and then it will return a true or false at the end if you need to get help uh, you know what you can write here then again i would click this help icon oh nice uh, let's do this again ah oh, again this worked before but, uh, all right, it's not, um, let me try. Let's try this. Oh, here we go. Um, so now, now it works. Uh, not sure why I wasn't working for that card. Uh, but you know, you can click on help and then you can kind of see uh, what, uh, what options you have and what operators uh, you can use and so on. All right. Um, we can just, uh, let's say return true. If we test this, we get true. All right, that works. Uh, I don't know, let's try one more time. Oh, now it works. All right, we solved it. And we can delete this card. Um, but hey, uh, at least you know it's real. <laughs> uh, all right, so this is the expression and what I'm doing here is, so this is 100. 100 is, um, we can change this to 99 just to make it, is, is greater than 99, and then we're negating the value, right? So let's, let's test this. So this is true, and then we're making it false, right? And that's what we get, all right. Uh, and finally, this is just an or. Uh, it looks for at least one true, and then it will give us, um, uh, a true uh, as the output. All right, so let's let's actually run this. 
I think sometimes running, um, especially this kind of a flow, um, because you can see uh, how the value are passed, uh, I think might make it a little bit easier. All right, so we can see 100 is greater than 50, so it's true. Then hello um, is not equal to hello because it's lowercase and it's false. Now we're saying all false, right? And so this is false because we have one true. Uh, any false, then yes, because we have false here, false here. And we're running our expression, we get a false. And then we're mapping data from previous cards. So uh, as long as one of them is true. So this is true, false, so this will be true. All right? Um, so I feel like testing it like this, um, can be easier because you can see the actual values and how they're passed from card to card. Um, but anyhow, that's all I wanted to um, to show you. Let me just turn this off. Um, for using the true and false card, I um, hopefully this was valuable. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.